All right, guys, we're back. Um, today's Monday. We are back with the C10, the blue C10 here. We are just about done. Yesterday I come, I didn't video nothing. I was kind of in a hurry. We got the fuel system buttoned up. We got pulled the rear cover off the differential. It is a 373 gear, what I thought. So we got to fill that up. I ended up letting the RTV dry on that. So I've just got to fill that up with fluid. I've got a fuel pressure gauge right here. Um, I had to go get some more fittings, but it's gonna end up right down there off the regulator. I got the other, the feed side of the fuel pressure regulator in. I got the two AN fittings on the throttle body. We got that ran. Um, I've got the fuel system down in the bottom buttoned up underneath the truck. Inside, I've got to finish cleaning the interior up. But there's the bulkhead I had to put in for the return. And then use the factory uh, seating unit as the, the uh, draw side where it draws it out to the throttle body. So this is the only thing that I'm not, it says this is fine, it's 5 16 line. It says that's fine, you know, if we were going super high horsepower deal here, I'd probably redo the whole the center unit and do it with three eighths, but they say that's plenty um, for what we're doing. So, um, as you see, it's just a normal old bulkhead we had to drill and put it in the tank. The AN fitting on it for the 90 degree. Um, yeah, so we will see how long this takes me. I'm, I'm hoping all I've got to do now is, like I said, put the regulator on it or put the gauge pressure gauge on it. And then I've got to program it in with a handheld device. And once that's done, start it up and let it run. And uh, then fill the rear end up with fluid. And we'll be on test drive. So we'll get y'all going here on time lapse on the pressure gauge and go from there. We got the pressure gauge on there and now that's what it looks like so you'll be able to read the gate the pressure from right here that's on the return side that way it holds pressure on the throttle body so it has a certain set so you'll be able to read both the feed know what its pressure is and the return side right here right from the hood and without hooking anything up you'll always know what it is so that is why did that just ease of um for anybody ever have any issues you know fuel pressure you can rule that out right off the bat with just a simple little look underneath the hood so now we are going to get the handheld device plugged in down here i'm going to program everything and we'll go from there all right i'm going to get the final wiring step done here <clears throat> this is hooking the power and ground up
That's why we're going to fight you. Shoot, wait. This stuff will fight you. This on here, man, it's whooping my tail. It works better with a torch or a heat gun. I think somebody jacked my torch. The torch don't leave the black soot on there, but it looks better when you put the heat wrap on it or the shrink wrap on them.
I can't stand wires running everywhere and it looking like a rat's nest. So I'm trying to take a little bit more time and keep all this really clean for the customer. I mean that's the first thing you see if you pop a hood open and there's wires running everywhere and it looks like crap, it just automatically gives you a bad taste in your mouth. Or it does me anyways. I'll try to spend the extra time and keep everything really clean. Certain situations you just can't help it sometimes, but I like to really try and keep everything clean for the, for the guy. So, well, that's all nice and neat up through here. All right, now I'm gonna plug this in. Turn the key on. All right. Initial setup. What we're going. Engine displacement. It's a 355. This is a 350. 30 over. Eight cylinders. Camshaft type. There's three options here: street stock, performance, and mild. Um, it gives you the parameters on the thing. Um, this is this cam is 230 uh, lift at. So. I advertised 280, so when I first seen it, I was like, oh crap, but it's actually 230 at 50, so we're going to go with the mild is what it says to put that. It's right at the top of the mild. Uh, we're going to do the, let's see, it does, we did do a regulator. So let me double check on that. Let me get the instructions. It does say. Yeah, let's see. So the non, so you got three different things to look at. The pulse width modulated, which is when you use no regulator, it's a deadhead system. The non-PWN with regulator, it's used with the running and return style system with regulator. Then this one here, I don't know what PWM is, but it, let's see, I'll put pulse width modulated it reduces the fuel pump to 50 percent at idle um, it says when you set it up to do the non pwm with regulator so that's what i'm going to do here air pump equip no idle target rpm 700 rev limit uh, i don't think we'll ever reach that but we'll put that down Time and control. Let's see. Disabled. We do not have the MSD distributor. And that's it. So that is done. Um, 
Now we'll uh, see. It shows you your tack, engine cooling temp, um, intake air temperature, throttle position. That works. Map pressure, fuel pressure, battery voltage. There the fuel ratio, injector duty, injector timing, throttle close, close the loop, learning, you know, start learning. I got the fans, you know, like we talked about, I don't have the fans hooked to it yet. Um, you can set all that up in advanced setup. So we're going to leave that right there for now. I'm going to double check everything and then we will try to start this thing up. All right, so what I had to do was get rid of the return system for now. That regulator, I'm going to remount it, obviously, but it does not hold enough back. Um, it just, it blows right through it. I guess the spring in, it's not stout enough for this high pressure. So right now I put it over on returnless and I just unhooked the return, put the cap in here. So right now it's just on a returnless system. I'm going to have the customer see what he wants to do, buy the MSD uh, regulator, put that on, switch it back over to a return system. But right now, I'll show you this thing just starts right up, just the easiest it can be. There we go i'm gonna do a couple things and then i'm gonna take it down the road and test it out so we will see how it does and i'll be right back all right here she is in the sun out running sounding great started opening had to open them up one turn on the screw adjustment screw depending on what size cam you have is how they how they say to do that so we're just going to ease down the road first just make sure everything's running good
great. I mean, it goes when you get on it, and then it's right back to idling down perfectly good. Um, we'll take a ride down through here and, and see how she does after driving it for a while. Test drive, check everything, nothing's leaking, still idling good, running fantastic. And this thing is really just impressed me a lot. Ease of installing it, kept somewhat knowledge, mechanics, and you've got patience, and you can read directions, you can do it. I'm going to show y'all throttle response and what it sounds like now versus before. guys looks great runs great wasn't that bad to install so guys um be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and uh this is going to be the end of this this series here for the blue uh, c10 carb to efi swap now this is perkins garage we'll see you next time